Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we're gonna do a best of 2020 video. This is all of my favorites from this last year, all of my makeup, beauty, skincare, some miscellaneous things to talk about as well. And there's a lot, this video is gonna be long, so grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below. Look what came in the mail, oh my gosh. So my 100K plaque came in and She's beautiful. I cannot believe that we hit 100K this year. We actually hit 100K a few weeks back, but my ass missed the email, and so my plaque came a little bit late, but I'm so excited to hang this up, and it is such a great way to end the year. And thank you for all of your support and for following along on my journey. I truly could not be here without you guys, and I'm just so excited to jump into this year with 100K subscribers. So before we go ahead and dive into the video, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also make sure you hit the little notification bell, that lets you know every time I post a new video, you definitely don't wanna miss out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have so much skincare. You guys know I love skincare. I'm all about skincare first, makeup second. And so first thing I wanna talk about is oil cleansers. I have two here. Pharmacy and Glow Recipe. I will have to say that these are two of my favorite brands of all time. I have a full dedicated video, five best and five worst of Pharmacy and then one for Glow Recipe as well. So these are just two solid AF oil cleansers and this one from Green Clean is a staple. I've used it for years and years now. I do have a discount code for both of these brands and I believe my pharmacy one is Christine 20 and my Glow Recipe is Christine 15. I double cleanse every single day and it has made such a big difference in my skin. So if you're a little bit curious about all of that, make sure to check out any of my skincare videos. I'll go ahead and link one up in the corner. I haven't done YouTube in so long, I don't even know what corner it is anymore. The difference between two of these is the pharmacy is just like my number one favorite of all time, hands down. It doesn't leave any residue, it removes all of my makeup. Next two cleansers that I have been loving, this one from Origins, the Checks and Balances. This is such a good frothy cleanser. This one feels amazing and gives you such a deep clean and Brandon says he likes it more than the First Aid Beauty, so that says a lot. I don't know if I like it more but it just deep cleans your skin better. <laughs> Another favorite for me, I'm almost out of this, and this is the Pharmacy Clean Bee Cleanser. This is a really good, like super sudsy gel cleanser. This one, it makes my face feel really, really warm as I work it in. I always cleanse for 60 seconds, and I just really enjoy both of these. Next, toners. I am so bad with skincare, I cannot narrow it down to just one of every single category. I just can't. So I'm gonna talk about a lot and just speed through them, okay? A big favorite for me was this Origins Soothing Treatment Lotion. I use this all of quarantine and this is now my second bottle. This toner is really great whenever I feel like my skin is overly irritated and it's just a really good, solid, everyday, soothing and calming toner. A toner that I use when I want that exfoliation, when I wanna target like breakouts or texture. I've been loving this Ren Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow. HA tonic. This is very, very exfoliating and it reminds me a lot of the You To The People kombucha toner. If you guys know, I'm obsessed with that stuff. This is now my second empty of it. I need to open up another one, but this is the Peace Out Acne Serum and this is one of the best serums for breakouts if you have texture or anything like that. I cannot recommend this enough, especially if I'm having a lot of breakouts. If I'm on my period, I use this AM and PM, but on days where I don't really have problematic skin, I'll use it probably three or four times a week to kind of just keep my skin in check. This serum, I have fallen in love. I feel like this was the big introduction to Dr. Jart for me. I haven't really tried a whole lot from their brand, but this is the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Serum. This is so soothing and hydrating, and I feel like this is the Origins Mushroom Toner in serum form. I actually pair this with my new face, and I did do a whole video about how I use the two of these together, but eye creams, I have gone through now two of these. This is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This does a great job of making my under eyes look really awake 
and brighten. You guys know I am an eye cream junkie, and so this definitely is a favorite of mine. Another favorite of mine is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I am nearly through this, and for me to even finish an eye cream should say something. I have a backup that I refuse to give away because this eye cream is so great for nighttime use. I use it about one to two times a week. If you have milia, those tiny little bumps under your eyes, you need this. Ever since I started incorporating retinol into my skin routine, I have not noticed such a big difference in my skin before and now I can't live without it. But this just makes my under eyes look so useful and hydrated plump it just is the number one eye cream that i recommend to anyone especially if you want to reduce wrinkles or anything like that going off that glow recipe also has the avocado melt retinol sleeping mask and this is actually a moisturizer for your face and you use this at night you can use the eye cream and this together but this is really great for cell turnover on your skin especially if you have any dark spots or any really like deep set acne this is really great for helping to fight all that off and in the morning it just gives me such useful bright and soft looking skin my skin doesn't purge whenever I use it it doesn't make my skin look really red or irritated in the morning or anything like that so I do really really enjoy this next I have an SPF and I feel like I have been talking everyone's ear off about this but this is the dr. jar every Sunday Sun fluid and like I said dr. jar is a new brand to me this year but I have just fallen in love with all of their skincare products. This SPF in particular is really great. It absorbs really quickly into the skin, doesn't leave any white cast, and it's just a really solid SPF. Whenever someone asks me for a Sephora recommendation on SPF, it's this one. The mineral one is also as good, but that one kind of sits on the skin a little bit more and is a little bit more harder to blend in. So I just feel like this one is just easier and all around a great everyday one. I have this Bloom Meltdown Oil, and this is a must for anyone that has acne or breakouts. This is one of the best spot treatments I've ever tried ever, and why I love this is it doesn't dry out my skin or leave any like dry spots or cakiness around my blemishes, and I just, I hate that. And whenever I put makeup or anything on top, everything just looks really smooth and seamless, but it also does such a great job of actually fighting off my breakouts. I have been through like three or four of these. My brother and my sister use them. It's just such a solid spot treatment. I do have a discount code Christine 10 if you want to use that. Just the best. I cannot talk about this enough, but it is one of the few skincare products that I have gone through multiple empties of. So next I have two exfoliators for you. I feel like physical exfoliants are one of the hottest topics, but I have here the You To The People Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. This exfoliator is a little bit expensive, but this jar is freaking huge. And it comes in glass packaging, so it does feel kind of luxe. And with this stuff, a little goes a long way. You do not need a whole lot. It just does a really great job of exfoliating my skin. When I have time, I leave it on as a mask. And when I rinse it off, it just gives me the most smoothest, softest looking skin ever. The little beads in it are super micro, so it's really great for really getting in there and exfoliating all of the spots. It's a really great physical and chemical exfoliant. If you want something a little bit more on the affordable side, this is the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. And this actually says it's a mask, but I use it the same way that I do the You To The People cleanser. It's literally sugar that's in this, so the beads are a little bit bigger than the ones that are in the You To The People, but it is so like concentrated that I feel like it does a great job of exfoliating my face the same way. Finally, we have two little lippy products and this Sarah Hap lip scrub I've had for years and years and years. I've had it for so long, but it still has lasted me such a long time. I think that this is one of the best lip scrubs I've ever tried ever. The scent is incredible. The Dream Duo to pair with that lip scrub is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have talked about this lip sleeping mask for so long. I've had the same tub now for like a year and a half and I've just hit pan on it. I think that this lip mask is one of my favorite things from Sephora period because it is such a hydrating, lip balm and it's just more than your average lip balm because it actually contains ingredients that kind of chemically exfoliate your lips as well as you sleep and this duo together will give you like the most kissable looking lips and who doesn't want that Kosas came out with these like rollerball natural deodorants a few months back and these are one of the few 
natural deodorants that I feel like actually do anything. I really enjoy the rollerball. The scent is really nice and especially if you want to dip your toes into natural deodorants, I highly, highly recommend these. Now I have some makeup favorites that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I have a few brow favorites here. I recently have started doing my brows a little bit differently and I feel like I have gotten a lot better at achieving like the bushy, more natural looking brow. And the number one thing for that is brow powder and brow gel. And this one is actually a new pickup for me, but this is the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. And it's actually a clear brow gel. And this is one of the few brow waxes that actually pushes my brows up. So I've been really liking brow powders lately. And this one from Benefit is a really good one. It's super pigmented. And I like that it comes with two different shades. And this is the foolproof brow powder nice and pigmented and it does stay on my brows when i do have the brow wax in it so this has been helping me to achieve a more like fluffier natural looking brow i've been really liking this benefit precisely my brow pencil and this is just a fine tip brow pencil and this is really great because it stays all day it's really easy for me to get the shape that i want this is such a solid brow pencil another brow gel that i've been enjoying you guys have probably seen me use it a couple times is this m cosmetics brow gel this is in the shade ebony i've been using so much because it does everything that the patrick todd does but this one actually has pigment in it so it does help to darken up my brow a little bit and this one is just a, such a solid brow gel and it's one of the only brow gels that actually holds my hair up in place next eyelash curler this is the laura mercier eyelash curler i've talked about this in my last few favorites video it's just one of my favorite eyelash curlers but if you guys have any favorite eyelash curlers let me know down below i definitely want to try out some other ones but this laura mercier is just such a good one it's really great for my straight asian lashes and it just does a really great job of keeping them curled all day makes them real perky looking and I use it every single day. Favorite mascara ever, this is the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara. If you have watched any of my makeup videos, you know I love this mascara to death. It is ultra waterproof. I got my girlfriend Ginny on it and she tells me all the time she's obsessed. Any of my girlfriends that ask for a waterproof mascara recommendation, I always recommend this one. This is a recent favorite of mine, but something that I have continued using every single day since I discovered it, but this is the Hourglass Unlocked instant extensions mascara and this is actually a tubing mascara it's kind of like little eyelash extensions that latch on to the end of your lashes and so this mascara makes my eyelashes look so long and thick and healthy and it's actually the mascara that i have on today I actually have the both of these layered on top of each other but i feel like this mascara makes my lashes look amazing and i have just let go of the falsies and the false lashes ever since i discovered this it's expensive and i think it's 100 worth it next i have some liquid eyeliners i have been really into the liquid liner lately and i just i don't have time for eyeshadow i don't have time for smoky eyes and blending and all that just a liquid liner takes me two minutes and i'm out the door and i've been using the stila and the kat von d liquid liners for the last few months i just think that these are the best liquid liners Ever. If I had to choose between the two, I will say that I do like the Stila just a little bit more because it does have a brush tip. I just find that these ones dry out a little bit more quickly than the Stila ones, but they have really good pigment. They're really matte black and they'll stay all day, which is super important to me. Next for eyeliners, I have the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner, and this is actually a gel eyeliner. I think these are the best eyeliner pencils I have discovered ever. Very bold. They just stay all day. They stay in the waterline wherever I put them. They stay all day and do not smudge, which is so important to me. What's also nice about this, it actually is a screw situation, so you don't have to go in and sharpen it all the time, which makes it really convenient if you're packing it. Another pencil liner that I love this year is the Milk Makeup Bonus Eyeliner. This is kind of like a bronzy, brown color. I wore this liner so much during quarantine and especially on days where I don't want to put on a whole lot of makeup. A brown liner is a great way to still get a little bit of that drama but still have it be a little bit softer than a black liner and I just reach for this a lot just because it just makes my brown eyes pop. I love that it kind of has a bronze shimmer to it so it makes it really unique. Next few products that I want to talk about is foundations. Both of these I actually talked about in my last year's 2019 
teen favorites and this L'Oreal foundation I recently rediscovered in the last few months and it just makes my skin look absolutely incredible soulful coverage Pat McGrath is just a really great foundation for photos videos it just is very very photogenic and if you guys are interested in some of my favorites from last year definitely check out that video I actually watched a lot of my older favorites videos and so definitely if you're interested in seeing some of those videos I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner but these are just such goodies but a new foundation that I discovered this year is the Kira Weiss foundation I actually have it on today and every time I use this it just gives me such a gorgeous finish it kind of has like medium coverage but it just lasts such a long amount of time on my skin this foundation gives me a really good long lasting finish and it just stays looking beautiful my only complaint about it is the packaging is kind of like weird because it's a dropper bottle but it's such a tight fit that sometimes I can only get like a drop out before I have to like re-pump it so it's just a little annoying but the packaging is very luxe Kira Weiss is a new brand to me and I have really enjoyed everything that I've tried from them this year so concealer favorites I have two different concealers here that I have been enjoying two of them being the Kosas concealers and then I also have the beauty blender balance concealers as well and I I just typically like to have two shades of each just because it's so hard to find a shade that matches me perfectly and so this is such a great everyday concealer it has a really like lightweight natural looking finish so it does look super natural on it isn't like super cakey or full coverage or anything like that so if you want that extra coverage this is not going to give it to you but on my lighter makeup days especially when I just want to skip the foundation altogether this is a really great pretty looking concealer if I'm wearing more of a full coverage look and I want that coverage I want something that will really conceal the darkness and any of the blemishes I have the beauty blender concealer is a really great full coverage concealer that still looks really pretty on the skin doesn't look cakey or anything like that so I just really enjoy both of these for different things the first cream bronzer that I feel fell in love with this year is the milk makeup cream bronzer and I just feel like I really dove into a lot of milk makeups makeup this year and really fell in love with their makeup and okay take a shot for every time I said makeup just now <laughs> a while ago I did do a full face of milk makeup so if you're interested in that definitely check it out but this is such a good stick bronzer this really got me into using cream bronzers a lot over the summer and I just feel like this is the perfect color it blends blends out gorgeously it lasts a good amount of time on the skin as well and I just feel like this is just a really good solid cream bronzer two powder bronzers I have been loving one of them is the Kosas baked bronzer and this one is actually in the shade medium and this is so pretty it kind of has like a shimmery finish it makes your skin look so like sun-kissed and naturally bronze and this shade is a smidge too deep for me but the light shade is a little bit too light for me so I wish they had something a little bit in between but it does give a really pretty color it blends out gorgeously the packaging is so chic and I just I love everything from Kosas as well a new bronzer that I discovered is this one from NARS this is actually the Laguna matte I didn't want to spend money on this because this was expensive but this is actually something that I picked up myself from the Sephora VIB sale a while ago but I've been reaching for this bronzer so often to me kind of feels like a more pigmented hula and it's a little bit more like warmer as well it just makes my skin look so naturally bronze it's actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today also on days where I don't feel like wearing eyeshadow but I want a little bit of color up there I will pack this bronzer on my eyelid as well and I just feel like the color is absolutely stunning cream blushes there's a lot I have just fallen in love with cream products this year at the beginning of quarantine I was in love with these Tower 28 blushes I was actually on Sephora's YouTube channel and I talked about these Tower 28 blushes and these are just such solid cream blushes they're so reasonably priced and there's so many pretty shades and I would say my most used one is this one here in magic hour but I also have happy hour and then golden hour as well but I just feel like these blushes are so reasonably priced they're so heckin pigmented they last all day second quarter of quarantine I was using a lot the Kosas duo blush and highlighters I'm obsessed with those I actually use the heck out of one of them those cream blushes are also incredible so pigmented and blend out beautifully but then 
near the third quarter of the year i fell in love with these nude sticks blushes and i have the shade beach babe and in the nude and this one here is beach babe it just has a little bit more of a like deeper color so i reach for that one a lot more but both of these are so pigmented they're so beautiful and i want to say that these are even more pigmented than the kosas and the tara 28 it just lasts all day it's so pigmented the color is absolutely gorgeous and so i really really have been loving those as well i actually recently did an updated new lipsticks video i don't want to be super repetitive so if you want to see some of my other recommendations definitely check out that video but two lip liners that i reached for the most this year definitely is the charlotte tilbury hot gossip lip liner and then the mac lip liner in spice these two are my most reach for use lip liners if i were to give away all of my lippies and only have this i would be happy it's actually the one that i have on my lips today i also have the mac lip liner in the shade spice and this is very very similar to hot gossip to me so hot gossip is up top and then mac spice is down below so mac spice just has a little bit more of a like pinker tones. I prefer my more brownie nudes, so I do prefer the Charlotte Tilbury over the MAC one, but sometimes when I'm feeling a more pinky lip, I will reach for the MAC one. Two lip glosses that I've been loving. Tire 28, again, has really gorgeous nude lip glosses that they came out this year, and I just feel like their gloss formula is gorgeous. It's super comfortable on. I actually am wearing them today, and I love these glosses. The colors are gorgeous. I have the shade here, Almond, which is the more like nudie brown, and then the shade Cashew, and they make my lipstick so juicy and plush. Falsies, I did not wear them a whole lot this year, but when I did, I was obsessed with these Ilore Luxe Silk Lashes in the style Marquise. These were one of the greatest discoveries of quarantine. They just make my eyes look so catty and kind of like lengthen, which that's one of my favorite looks ever. These are super reasonably priced and definitely one of my more favorite drugstore lashes that I have tried. Then eyeshadow palettes, like I said, I haven't been wearing a whole lot of eyeshadow this year just because your girl has been lazy, but I have been really enjoying these M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. I recently did a tutorial with her new Clementine one. The shimmers in here are really pretty. The mattes blend out really, really nicely. And I also really like that the packaging is really small so it makes it really easy to pack along with me. We're skipping around a little bit because I forgot to talk about this earlier. One of my favorite powder blushes that I loved this year and especially early quarantine, I was talking about this shade in particular so much and I feel like I almost feel bad talking about this because this palette is discontinued but this is the Laura Geller Holiday Palette and I just had to talk about it because I feel like it would be illegal for me to not talk about it but this shade right here roasted chestnuts is the perfect blush shade it is almost kind of like a rusty bronzy <laughs> blush color but i don't have any powder blush in my collection that looks like this but i do have a few cream blushes that are dupes that i'll go ahead and link down below but it's just the most perfect shade i reach for it the most often and laura geller please come out with a single blush in this color okay please Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is such a solid translucent powder. I have tried a couple here and there, but I just always go back to this one just because you know why everyone talks about this. It's, everyone needs to have this in their collection. Super Goop CC Screen. This is a really good CC cream. I picked up this Freck XL near the middle of quarantine and there was a phase where I was obsessed with faux freckles and blush all across my nose. I still like a whole lot of blush in my face, but I feel like I've kind of toned it down a little bit, but I did really enjoy this freck little thing thing. Before I was using eyebrow pencils and I feel like it did not give me as realistic of an effect as this does. So I think that this is definitely worth the money, especially if you like doing faux freckles and stuff like that. I think that this is definitely the product that you need to have. Finally, we just have a few more things left. This is kind of like in the beauty space. A dry shampoo that I've been really enjoying is this Briogeo Scalp Revival Dry Shampoo. This is a non-aerosol can, so it's actually a little bottle that you twist up here and you squeeze to disperse the product. So this is really great to travel with, especially if you don't want to deal with having like a spray can of dry shampoo. And it allows me to last a few more days without having to shower. Another dry shampoo that I have been loving that I discovered this year is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This is such a good dry shampoo. It is so 
potent. I feel like I have really, really oily hair and scalp and this helps to revive my hair and it makes it look like I just freshly got out of the shower. It definitely is one of my more favorite dry shampoos I've ever tried, period. I have been using this a lot lately. This is actually one that Brandon got me a few years ago for my birthday, but this is the Maison Louis Marie number no. four. Bois de Balancourt. I actually did a video with Sephora with all of my favorite clean fragrances. So that's the only reason why I know how to pronounce this, but it has such a gorgeous, earthy, musky scent, but it smells very, very expensive. Like if you think of La Labo or Aesop, it kind of just has that type of like boutique-y scent. I've been trying to remember to use a perfume every single day just because it makes me feel so much more put together. I love when I get in my car and I just catch a whiff of it. Next, we have a CBD oil. It's hard for you to fall asleep or sometimes when you get like a little bit of anxiety. When I first moved to LA, I had a lot of anxiety. This one here is from Two Cranes and this is actually a local Seattle company. I've actually met the two founders and their sisters, hence the name. It actually tastes not bad as well. So it is kind of a pleasant taste and you can mix it in with your drinks or anything like that. Really great CBD oil. Next in my favorites is period panties. And this is actually something that I discovered like mid quarantine and I have been telling all of my friends about period panties. And so these actually replace your need to have pads or tampons or anything like that. And these are actually like, they're like period proof panties. And so you're supposed to wear them and wash them every single use. So I actually have a pair here from Lilova. I actually have now four pairs from them. When I got these, it's sustainable. And after I'm done, I'll go ahead and hand wash them, hang them to dry, and then go ahead and use another pair and kind of just cycle through my period panties. And so, for my birthday, my sister actually bought me some pairs from this new brand that I haven't heard of before, but it's called Proof. So this is another brand of period panties. So I definitely will try these out and let you guys know how they are, but they just look a little bit nicer than my Lilovas because they are kind of like seamless. And so I think that these look more like a standard pair of panties. I have become obsessed with matcha this year. And if you have watched any of my videos, my vlogs, or follow me on Instagram, I'm matcha obsessed. I no longer drink coffee just because coffee gives me the jitters. So I have been a big fan of Tenzo Matcha for the last year now. And actually am an affiliate with them. So if you want to use Christine 15, that will give you 15% off of your purchase. But this is definitely my favorite matcha of all time. They actually now have a little electric whisk. So it makes it super easy and quick. If I wanna make my matcha, I just, then I have gotten more into curling my hair this year. I've been trying to up my hair game and I have been loving my T3 hair tools and I actually have a couple curlers and straighteners from them. This one is actually the Heat ID and I feel like it does a really great and quick job of curling my hair without damaging it as much. Last favorite that I wanna talk about is these whitening strips from Spotlight Oral Care. So I like using these from time to time just to kind of like upkeep my teeth, if you will. And if I have any type of like special occasion or anything like that, I will use these. And I think that these are really great, great for sensitive teeth. They stay on your teeth. Okay, that was a lot. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this big 2020 roundup of all of my favorite things. I'll go ahead and have everything linked down below as well as the pricing, shade names, and all of that good stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what some of your favorite discoveries of last year were. I would love to know. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed these big favorite roundups. But anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.